This is my already old Mavic Pro. I have it for almost 3 years now and since I never crashed it I thought I should share with you some tips on how to do the same. So without further ado let's get started. When it comes to software upgrades I cannot give you a specific answer whether to do it or not but if you decided to do it you might as well do it right. There are 4 things which need to be up to date. DJI software on a mobile phone or tablet. drone software, batteries and remote controllers. First thing you need to be in comfort of your house and you need to make sure all batteries are fully charged including remote controller and phone. The gimbal protection is removed and you can make all LEDs blink. After everything is connected and ready start the upgrades. When it's done, shut down everything, disconnect everything, remove the battery and connect another one. Then start the upgrading process again until all batteries, drone and remote controller are upgraded. Fly first in beginner mode and always calibrate IMU. When you start your drone, the gimbal makes a taste on its own, so it's imperative that its protection is removed. Just in case you might forget to do that, there is an easy fix for it. Just print a self-adhesive label on your battery, a reminder to do just that. Also, you can label your batteries too, in order to rotate them. If you use filters, make sure they don't obstruct camera movement, most of them don't, but just in case. I don't use camera protection in flight, because it stops the flow of air into the drone and it will become hotter, especially on summer days. Test that propellers are tight on the motors, they move freely and only take off if you have a ready to fly GPS on your phone screen and you hear the magic words. The home point has been updated, please check it on the map. If you don't hear that, it happens to me a few times, just fly very close to takeoff point because if you lose connection between the controller and the drone, it might go where the last home point was set. Generally this is a different location, most likely very far away. Always fly outside and as much as possible away from buildings and trees. If you don't have a choice, just fly way above those. Set failsafe accordingly. On a fixed position if you don't move or update it if you are on a car for instance. Don't use modes in the city slash forest, for instance active tracking only in open field. Don't fly under bridges, they might be reinforced and the metal in them might disrupt comms with the RC. If that happens, the drone will try to go to return to home altitude, will hit the bridge and fall in the water. Which brings us to the next tip, never ever trust sensors, especially over water. Mind the birds and the dogs, they are both tempted to attack the drone and this is why also you need to fly with an observer. Pay attention to the wind direction, especially over water. You might have not enough juice in the batteries to get back home. Generally, it is not advisable to fly in freezing temperatures. But if you must, try to keep batteries warm before the flight and don't go very far away from the takeoff point. Learn how to hand launch catch the drone. If you need that, just let me know to make a tutorial about it. Every now and then, fly your drone so the batteries maintain their health. Always keep your drone in a dustproof bag, preferably waterproof also, see video in the upper right corner why, whether we are carrying it or storing it. Also keep the gimbal clamp on while changing filters. Ok, that was it for today, feel free to add your own advice in the comment section down below and I'll see you on the next video, bye!